Okay, everyone, I just got firmware 10.69.25.1. So what comes with this latest firmware update? So let's take a look at this. So first we have full self-driving beta. And this improvement has different functionality. So let's take a look at this. You can now enable full self-driving beta by tapping the control autopilot, full self-driving beta, and follow the instruction. Full self-driving is full self-driving is early limited access beta and must be used with additional cautions. It may be wrong at the worst time. It may do wrong. Do the wrong thing at the worst time. So you must always keep your hands on the wheel and pay extra attention to the road. I don't know what that means by maybe wrong, meaning that it's not perfect yet. We all know that. So definitely don't take it for granted. Do not become complacent. When full self-driving is enabled, your vehicle will make lane changes off highway. Select forks to follow your navigation route. Navigate around other vehicles and objects and make left and right turns. Use full self-driving in limit beta only if you will pay constant attention to the road and be prepared to act immediately, especially around blind corners, crossing intersection, and in narrow driving situation. Your vehicle is running on Tesla Vision! Exclamation mark! Note that Tesla Vision also includes some temporary limitation. No, really? We all know that. Once they took away the radar, follow distance is limit to two to seven and autopilot top speed is 85 miles per hour. Very concerning warning message update. Hmm, okay. Upgrade to Object detection network to Froton count video. So this is a bunch of mumbo jumbo. Um, we went through this already. So basically there's improvement to the accuracy of how it detects object, pedestrian, street lights, how it makes decision. We'll have to see. This is a lot of improvement. I mean, they're talking about percentage here, right? You're talking about 26 i mean a normal even a tech a techie person won't understand some of these terminology but i'm not going to bore you basically there's some improvement um it's not full self-driving i thought they're going to change that name but i guess they still call it fsd right um okay there's other fsd improve okay so that's the same now full self-driving beta full self-driving suspension improvement what is this here maximum so there's some improvement with suspension if you have the adaptive suspension they're still running through um the dips through intersection really fast so it's not recognizing that yet okay hopefully that will come later camera improvement okay this is getting it just it's just repetitive um so this icon on the left doesn't work here you actually have to swipe up driving visualization to view expanded driving visualization with full okay we already know this um let's see here cabin camera above your rear camera can determine driver in, uh, intensiveness and provide you with auto wheel alert to remind you to keep your eyes on the road. So I noticed that when you're wearing sunglasses, if you look straight, but your eyes looking down, it can't, well, obviously it can't detect that. But if it notice you're holding your cell phone up, if, if you're holding the phone up away from the camera, it can't see it. But the moment it sees your phone, it will alert you. So there's still, I mean, it's not perfect, but it does help. Apple Music, 
dog mode improvement you can view the camera this is the old version what happened to 69 okay all these are just improvement to the last update light show da 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 yeah yeah so the improvement here is full self driving basically they're just giving you more warnings and what the recent improvement has been um really just huge warning i think people were just relying it too much thinking that it's full self driving when it's not it's still in beta very dangerous i mean i got caught in certain situation where if i didn't if i didn't pay attention if i didn't take over i would have crashed into another car or a pavement so definitely for you guys out there using fsd if you're not using if you're not using the beta then you don't have to worry but if you're using the full self-driving beta pay full attention um all these are mumbo jumbo it's, it's not perfect i would say in local street i feel about 20 percent maybe 40 percent of them just going straight just straight straight red light straight it does really well with red and green light um it panics when it turns yellow it doesn't know what to do sometimes it accelerate then it slams on the brake so that's that's one piece that it needs to improve um left turn it does really well right turn it it it, it just doesn't work well with the curves sometimes it's really close to the curve and it hesitate when there's cars coming uh, versus cars on our adjacent lane it gets confused when that happens and then sometimes it just slams on the brake occasionally when it changed lane it cuts people off so you want to be careful with that if there's a speeding car on the adjacent lane make sure you take full control um so those are the items that i want to call out with fsd so with this latest version i don't i mean i see some improvement in detecting object but the problem i have is when there's a dip there's a speed bump it doesn't recognize those it just it just runs through those like there's no object even when there's a small trash bin um it literally on the visualization it shows that it's running through the trash bin like a mini a mini sized trash bin so there's certain things that it still has to work out um and then going the highway is on enhanced autopilot it does really well however once you start hitting 80 miles per hour it doesn't take corners well so you start running into the lanes and when it tries to change the lane it goes back and forth so things like that still needs to be worked out it's been years i, I don't know how i mean people who pay 15 grand for this i don't know um they say you can use this for robo taxi have the vehicle work for you i don't see that happening for another one at least two two to five years uh to fully trust the vehicle to drive on its own um maybe five but i'm gonna be optimistic i'll say two so we'll see what happens but right now you still have to be fully alert it does do well in straights and left turns i have to say that most left turns i would say 80 to 90 percent it does really well right turns is really 20 to 30 percent and yellow light to red light it's really 50 50 there and then objects anything other than the pedestrian or someone on a bike or motorcycle so if you have a trash bin it might hit it so just pay attention to that thanks for watching remember to subscribe catch you on next time